One, trigger warning for blood and plasma and ickiness. <laughs> there isn't too much of it, but just be aware and mindful that it might be in this video. Number two, take everything I say with a pinch of salt. This is just my personal experience. I'm not a tattoo artist. Listen to the advice of your tattoo artist as well as mine. If you use this video as a point of reference, please watch the whole thing as opposed to watching it day by day along with your healing process because there will be points at the end of the video that I'll have to add to previous days because I won't remember everything I have to say on the days that I'm filming so at the end there will be extra little notes for you to bear in mind if you are using this video as a reference for healing your tattoo. Hi friends, it is Sam coming to you exclusively from the M4 post tattoo appointment. Today extra 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 hose going through drive throughs um we're going to kfc for our burgers uh it's right hither behold and we're going through the mackey's drive through for fries because mackey's fries are better than kfc fries anyway who needs kfc fries yeah, i hope they like, can hear me sometimes you fancy like a chunky fry you like, can never beat mackey's fries whatever then are we still, I'm gonna get a drink from here, yeah? Yeah. Can I just get one with it, please? Yeah, can I get two vegan burger and drink? What do you, what do you drink would you like? Uh, Pepsi Max. Two Pepsi Max. Two Pepsi Max, yeah. You can tell me how much it is or what? No. Oh, yeah, Find out how much it is the next window. Got to turn, I was just gonna carry on driving straight. That would've been good, wouldn't it? We would've gone straight into that. Pass it to you. Thank you. Oh, oh, crumbs. Do we want straws? <laughs> uh, no, we're alright. Thank, right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's that SpongeBob mean? It's several hours <laughs> later. <laughs> uh, sauce? Uh, I'm alright. No, we're alright. Thank you. Tamakis! Yeah, boys. deciding to eat before unwrapping my tattoo which is completely fine a lot of artists don't even recommend you unwrap your tattoo the first night so an extra 30 minutes did me no harm whatsoever i carefully cut off the cling film washed my hands and very gently washed my tattoo with gentle soap and patted it dry sometimes i'll use a flannel to wash my tattoo and other times i'll just use clean hands it just depends how i feel for this tattoo, I mostly just use my hands, I just found it easier.
I left the tattoo out for a couple of hours and then at bedtime I carefully washed it again, waited a few minutes for it to dry and then I wrapped it, using kitchen towel as a barrier at the bottom of the wrapping to catch any blood or plasma. This prevents any liquid from leaking out of the cling film. For anyone wondering, I do just use supermarket bought cling film to wrap my tattoos, nothing fancy. And I usually use masking tape as opposed to sellotape, but we're out. Sorry, planet. currently very gunky so I need to go wash it and today I'm gonna start applying the creams on the first morning after getting a new tattoo I'm always very gooey so once I've removed the cling film, I try to gently remove some of the plasma with some dry kitchen roll before washing the excess off. Gentle is the operative word here, and I'll probably use it many more times throughout this video. Be very gentle with your gaping wound. healing my tattoos I call them the phase one cream and the phase two cream and I've spoken about both on my channel before but just as a refresher phase one cream is this El Gato Negro cream it's vegan and it's cruelty free and we originally found it at Bristol Tattoo Convention and we've since found the website and topped up on it it looks like this you have to work it out with your nail and work it into your tattoo it's like heat activated you use very little of this cream it goes a very long way it literally means the black cat in spanish like i'm learning italian and gato means cat and obviously negro means black so that is cream number one phase two cream is my sweet sweet child sympathy for the skin from lush this tub comes in at about 13 pounds you can get a smaller tub i believe but i get this one because i use it on all my other tattoos too but today i'm gonna be going in with this like i said you just scrape a bit out work it into your tattoo you want a very fine layer i'm gonna keep wearing my pajamas today up until the time that we decide to take the dog out I'm going to be cling filming my leg for that, but up until then, I'm going to be wearing my pyjamas so that I can keep airing my leg. Now, since washing my tattoo, I have sat around for about an hour just to let it breathe before I put more crap on it. So bear that in mind before you whack cream on your tattoo straight after washing it. 
Like I just said, I use a very fine layer of tattoo balm. And this just ensures that while the tattoo is still able to absorb the goodness, it's also not suffocating and getting spotty as hell. Day two of the healing and my tattoo's pretty bruised, which is normal. I'm just gonna put that out there. I quite often bruise when I get a tattoo. I'll, I'll insert a clip here. It doesn't hurt. It's just kind of yellow and purple around it. And it's completely, completely normal. It's fine. Today, I tend to practice the same healing care that I did the day before and I will tomorrow as well but today I had a bath and uh I did hyperlapse it so that you can see how difficult it is to bathe with a new tattoo especially on the side of my thigh like on the top of my thigh I could just elevate my leg but no because it was on the side of my thigh it was kind of resting on my hip and I had my leg over the side of the bath it was mental but the advice is not to soak your tattoo. So I take that advice very seriously. And I kept a towel on the handrail next to the bath in case it did get wet. And I had to be extra careful because we topped up the yellow in my hair recently. And that meant my bath went yellow. So I didn't want any chemicals to get into my tattoo. So I was really careful in that sense as well. But, my leg is wrapped now because I went charity shopping this morning and I'm about to walk my dog but once that's happened and I know I'm not going out again I will unwrap it, wash it, leave it for a bit and then cream it as I did yesterday. It is day four of the healing and my dog's about to come in. <laughs> hello puppy, hello, 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 he's on the video. Is it? I've just woken up on day four of the healing and I'm about to go downstairs and take off my cling film for the final time. Yesterday I spent much the same as the previous days. I woke up, took off my cling film, washed my tattoo, waited for a little bit creamed it, went about my morning because I don't work mornings usually, and then after a few hours when it was time to walk the dog and go to work, I washed it again, wrapped in cling film, so it was in cling film for eight hours, and then I got home, took the cling film off, washed, waited, creamed, sat around, and then at bedtime, washed, cling filmed, and then here I am today. I'm going to take my cling film off and I'm going to have another awkward bath. I'm going to spend today using the same cream I've been using. I tend to switch creams up when the tattoo starts to flake and I don't think it will until tomorrow. So I will switch creams tomorrow. three minutes because I didn't bother washing my hair. According to my sister, every other day is too much anyway. So I'll save washing my hair for tomorrow. It doesn't look too bad today. My tattoo is already looking pretty dry. A tattoo will get to a stage where it goes very wrinkly and tight and every movement kind of stretches it a bit. And it's at that stage already. So it's healing pretty fast. I am still gonna use the black cat on it today, at least this morning, if it's starting to peel when I get home from work this evening, 
I will switch to Sympathy, but for now I'm going to use Black Cat on it. The bruising has gone down. It usually stays for three or four days, so I'm pleased with that. Again, it's a quick healer. We love it. I'm not going to question it. <laughs> because healing can be a real pain sometimes, but sometimes, like this time, it can be a dream. My dehumidifier's on, I just realised, so sorry if you can hear, like, humming. It's that. But yeah, again, I bathed on my left hip. It wasn't comfortable, but it was only three minutes. And I'm gonna wear leggings today, but I'm gonna cream my tattoo once I've got my dress on and leave the leggings off for an hour or two, just to let the cream sink in and my tattoo air. And then I'll be wearing leggings to work. When I get home from work, I will wash and cream my tattoo again. It's that simple. Hygiene, moisturization. as I wrap up filming each clip that I keep forgetting to mention what my tattoo is and why I got it and people tend to want to know that when they click on a tattoo video and every time I realise I'm like it's all right I'll do it next time and the next time comes and I don't do it I've just filmed a video and put my ring light away and I'm like that was next time that was next time and you've just put your ring light away here I am now on my other tripod because next time needs to happen <laughs> otherwise it won't be inserted into this video and you'll be like where'd that sword from Sam where'd you get that sword Sam my tattoo is Shira's sword I love Shira and the princesses of power it has got me through so many sad times the theme song we must be strong and we must be brave just like makes me feel strong and brave so i got this tattoo to remind me to be strong to be brave and to watch shira when i'm sad i haven't mentioned yet that i try to not let my tattoo touch stuff because it's essentially a wound and you don't want nasty crap getting into it so i i try to roll my dresses up tuck my shorts into my pants like let it air as much as possible try not to let it touch too many things try not to let any germs or dust get onto it although healing tattoos can be quite easy it can also be a pain <laughs> but i'm gonna put my leggings on soon walk the dog go to work live my life and then i'll come home and strip off again i'm home from work and grocery shopping we went grocery shopping pretty much straight after work so it's like half past eight now and my poor tattoo has been a thirsty thirsty girl all day um she's quite peely you can't really tell in this light but oh my god the flakes in my leggings it was pretty rank it was snowing in there um I'm quite amazed at how much it's flaking already. So I'm going to put some sympathy on once I've put my pyjamas on. Just to recap, I use sympathy for the skin as soon as my tattoo starts to peel. It's very good for tattoos, smells like vanilla ice cream and it's very gentle. I may wash it again before bed, but if not, I will just cream it again before bed. And that wraps day four. of day five and my least favorite thing has happened basically if your skin is sweating in cling film for eight plus hours it's gonna get upset 
sweat and clogged up pores cause spots i've got spots next to my tattoo and my skin's quite upset next to my tattoo my tattoo's fine i have had spots on tattoos before which is awful but that hasn't happened this is normal it does happen but it's so hard to leave alone especially because you're paying so much attention to your tattoo which is peeling and it's so tempting to just peel those little flakes of skin off don't do it the color will fall out um it's just that little bit of extra temptation that i didn't need to pick these spots on my thighs so that's great <laughs> thank you skin i will be having another bath today because i didn't wash my hair yesterday and i'm gonna need to today so maybe that'll help but obviously again i'm not gonna spend too long in the bath because i don't want to soak my tattoo yet typically i wait about 9 to 14 days before i soak my tattoo it's usually about nine so i've got another four days before i can soak it but yeah once i've made a quick pop to the shop for some broccoli because my supermarket shelves as everyone else's are empty right now and there was no broccoli in Sainsbury's yesterday and it made me very upset I'm gonna come home have my bath and just sit in shorts for the rest of the day let the tattoo breathe and hopefully my skin will calm down so today as with yesterday I washed it this morning and then creamed it once it dried which wasn't too long because at this point my tattoos dry very quickly so i creamed it about 10 minutes after washing i will wash and cream it again this afternoon and then again tonight and that's pretty much it for the next few days until it heals day 10 i am about to have the first normal shower i've had in like over 10 days and i'm very excited to not be doing acrobatics while I'm getting clean because you saw what a struggle that was <laughs> over the past few days my leg has been unbearably itchy which is normal the scabs have mostly peeled off so it's kind of shiny at the moment with like flakes of skin and it's in the final process of healing it will stay shiny for quite a while and I still won't scratch it because it's quite tender, still quite hard to sleep on, but we're on the mend. I've been washing it twice a day and creaming it when it's either itchy or dry. So max three times a day. It's not the end of the world if you don't cream it that extra time, but if it gets unbearably itchy, give it a little wash, put some cream on it, it it's a temporary fix <laughs> by the way when i say shower normally i don't mean like scrub a dub dub yourself take the michael and go to town on your skin with that body puff because i know that might be what you're thinking i mean you are now able to soak your tattoo at 10 days shower with your body normal position and continue to be gentle with your new tattoo because it isn't healed it still needs tlc it's been about three weeks and my tattoo is almost completely healed the hilt is still having some trouble healing but for the most part my tattoo is smooth and integrated into my skin and all is well to wrap up this video i just thought i'd add a few notes that i forgot to say in either my voiceovers or in the clips because these are important things when healing a tattoo. The first of which is don't cream and wrap. If you are using the method I use to heal your tattoos, either cream or wrap, don't do both at once. Apply cream, let it sink in, and then when you're about to go out, wash your tattoo again, then wrap it once it's dry. Don't cream and then put wrap on it because the tattoo will be too wet and the colour may bleed out. Second point, don't use Bepanthan. <laughs> Bepanthan is an nappy rash cream that used to be good for healing tattoos, but they've since changed the recipe and it's no longer okay to use. Use tattoo balm, use gentle ointment, 
don't use any Vaseline like creams. Again, this will make your tattoo too wet. It may get clogged up and spotty. It will be a disaster, trust me. <laughs> Number three, the rules differ a little bit for small tattoos. Uh, take for example, my Fall Out Boy tattoo, ignore the eczema, I've been washing my hands a lot, you know how it is at the moment. These don't get cling filmed. Because they're so small, they heal quicker. So you would use the cream method and just make sure it's clean and it should heal fine. For the love of God, don't scratch or pick your tattoo. I know, I know it gets so unbearably itchy. My tattoo's been itchy for about a week. God, it's horrible. Don't scratch it, please. You will damage it, you may scar, it's not pretty. The same with picking. I know, I know, it's like peeling glue off your hands when you've been crafting. But if you pick the flaky bits off your tattoo, the colour will fall out. You'll have to get it touched up. You'll have to go through the same itchy procedure again. Final piece of advice is one I made at the beginning of this video, which is please listen to the advice of your artist. If they're an artist that doesn't tell you to use bupanthin, if they're an artist that tells you to use bupanthin, don't listen to them, listen to me. If you've gone to a professional who knows what they're doing, they will give you sound advice, they will talk you through how to heal your tattoo, you should always listen to the professional first. Don't only use a YouTube video as a guide for healing your tattoo. Your tattoo will be on your skin forever. Please take care of it. Now I did consider not posting this video because the UK is currently in lockdown. Actually, I think the world is currently in lockdown. There's a pandemic going around and because of that, people aren't getting tattooed. <laughs> this video will be of no use to anyone until people start getting tattooed again. However, I didn't film this video as any sort of guide because I'm not a professional. I just thought that it'd be interesting for fellow tattoo collectors to compare notes on how they heal tattoos. I personally watched a couple of how I heal my tattoo videos before and I haven't been tattooed recently when I watched these videos just because I find it interesting to see how other people hear their tattoos and what advice they're given. So, despite the nastiness going around in the world at the moment and the lack of tattoos being had, I'm gonna post this video anyway, just as a bit of entertainment, education, and fun. Why the hell not? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, Comment below if you've got tattoos and you've got advice on how to heal them. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye.